Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today guys, I want to show you how to fix uh, 6S and 6S Plus backlight issues. Sometimes uh, you've got completely dead backlight or in other cases you've got like uh, just half of the screen doesn't work. It's it's usually happening only when uh, the technician doesn't know how to fit back the screen or he doesn't remove the battery. So there's a uh, power left to the board which can cause the, this kind of issues. As you can see I've got a software, special software here which you can work really easy with if you're doing bow repairs. It's called Zillion X Work. It's best my advice, it's buy this direct from the website which is uh, Z zxw.com or zxwtools.com. Unfortunately it's in Chinese the website but try to make an email up, up to them and uh, they will some in like maybe two weeks they will respond to you and you can get a genuine one. If you if you're gonna buy this uh, dongle from eBay or from Amazon or whatever, you're gonna get a clone one, which you can't really use it. So as you can see on this specific case, next to LCD connector, the G4200, the small one, is actually on my board was burned. It was a capacitor, which uh, because of a short on the board, uh, on the motherboard, it just uh, burned out. And the other big uh, dot in there on the PCB is actually a wire direct uh, on the PCB layer which uh, which is uh, connected to that one. So what I did, I just took a wire from that, make a jumper with a couple of wire till that point which has been the positive uh, uh, 3.5 volts or something like that, I don't really remember to be honest. So basically just take a jumper. if it's if it's just half back light didn't work in, like in my case so uh, what I want to say just try to remove the burn one do not leave the burn capacitor there because it will interfere with the voltage you just try to put it back in there so in the second part uh, in the second image on the PCB you will see the other connection you have to make uh, you have to make sure that the other connection is, is still functional there's no disconnecting disconnection in there so on on the other side you see another dot which is a testing point TP something like that which goes to uh, a voltage supply as well on the other case when sometimes the other half like the left left half doesn't work just make a short in the those two dots um, the left one and the, the uh, right one so it will work in that case as well and what I did, I did both of them because my backlight was uh, completely gone, like half uh, uh, half on the top and uh, half uh, on uh, on the right side. So it was not only the capacitor gone; it was also a small uh, resistance in there it was already burned. So that's what I did. So the second dot, as you can see, with the first dot in the testing points, you have to make a jumper in there, and also you have to make sure. This connection uh, with the multimeter put on a diode tester, and uh, if it beeps, like there's a connection in between the, the other two points in there, then you're fine. But what I did in this case, I took like a voltage from a FPC connector from the left side to the uh, right side. So I made sure that I've got voltage supply there. That's why I did the uh, uh, short on the um, those two um, testing points connector. So um, in the next part, I'm gonna show you exactly what I did. It's really easy. Try, try, um, try to do it in the best way you can. Use some flux on the top, so it will help you to solder much faster uh, the wire. Do not worry about shorting the board because the wire has like a special uh, residue on top, so there's nothing to be worried about. So as you can see, so as you can see. On this first image, the best uh, we can do, and simply possibly, as I can explain, on those two dots, red dots, try to make a jumper. Use a, a couple of wire, which is safe to use, even if it's gonna touch the other part. Don't worry about it because the wire which you're gonna buy, it's uh, like uh, already protected. It has like a paint on top, so there's no reason to to be worried about that. So basically, there's a on the on the right side there's a big capacitor there which has the same voltage and it's wired underneath the PCB layout on the on the middle layer it's wired direct to the 
backlight filter which supplies the connector which goes to your LCD so all you need to do my friend just try to make a jumper but what I want to say is try not to leave the capacitor burned in there neither the resistor because if that that lives in there even if you put a new power supply there definitely the capacitor is gonna still try to filter that out but if it's the capacitor is burned and it's on short it will cause you the same problem it might damage even the the second capacitor from where you took the power supply so try to remove that as, as much as you can use some flux from Amtec it's really easy to use put up a bit in there use 380 degrees and it will be enough for you try to protect the connectors and that's it the job is done so in the left side you see a dot which is a test point which is directly connected with that um, filter but on the on the other side so as you can see try to use a multimeter on a diode uh, tester if it sounds rings that's fine you do not need to uh, to make any shorts but if it doesn't you're gonna make a short between the, uh, the left dot with the next image which is gonna appear now so just make a jumper in there as well yes as you can see with those two you have to make a connector so if you do not have connectivity direct uh, on there when you try testing uh, from the connector to your uh, small parts in the resistor or capacitance I don't really remember what was it just make a short in there in the, those test points which will create the same voltage to your connector and sometimes it fix the other half the other left half backlight that's the for the left side I think but in my case all the backlight was fucked so like I had just a small light in there unfortunately I couldn't make a video or full video because I, I had to fix it really really fast so in this part on the second part what you're gonna do uh, make a short in the in those two test points it will work the left side and if it doesn't work the right side just take a jumper from the first case I shown you so what I did I'm gonna show you in the next video it's really easy, it really is easy to use the software it helps you a lot to to detect where the short is being made so if you got overheating to a, a one component let's say you will t uh, tell you exactly uh, how to remove that one and uh, take a jumper from uh, another power supply or another test point or something like that and it will help in many cases so as you can see but where my tweezer is that's the capacitor that's the positive positive uh, connection just uh, I take a jumper so as you can see on the other side where the test points were I just did a jumper that was all for the left backlight side so that that was fixed but the other right side was still not fixed so I had to make a jump on the second part as well so here is the test my friends this is a 6s plus which been fixed by by uh, the XW dongle which works completely fine so if you guys need it, uh, any support or you want to send your phone to me or the board to me just let me know on my Facebook page and I'll, I can give you some help. That's it guys, thanks for watching, please subscribe if you like my videos, I will come with uh, more videos.